Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys how you're going to add checklists in Trello. So let's get right into it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go into a board or create a new one if you don't have one already. I'll just choose content plan as an example. And as you can see, I have these cards here and I have these empty lists here. I'll add a card into an empty list, name a test just for the purpose of this tutorial. And then I'm going to go into it. If you click on it, you can edit the card or for some reason it's gone now. I'm not sure why uh, it's been moved here, I guess. So yeah, I'll move it back here. Uh, you can click on it uh, to edit it. You can also click this uh, pencil icon right to the next of it and it will open up this menu, but you can pretty much just click on it to enter this large menu. This is what you want. Now to the right, you will see this menu that says add to card and the third I, uh, option from the top is checklist. You're gonna wanna click that, name a title. For example, I'll just write test. And now, as you can see, the checklist has been added. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to name your items and add them. For example, test one, test two, test three, and test four. And now we have your items. You can also click on them to edit them. You can assign people to these items. You can assign a due date. You can add emojis. You can mention somebody, or you can convert it to a full card or delete it. Now, once you've set everything up in that regard, you can then check it off once you've done it. Uh, once that item has been completed, you just check this off, it'll be crossed out, and this progress lighter will turn blue and add the percentage which is needed. As you can see, now it is 25%, 104, now it's at 50%, now it's at 75, and now it is at 100, and it turns completely green. You can also hide the checked items and they'll disappear, but you can also uncheck them if you want to. And yeah, that is pretty much all you need to know about creating checklists. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys in another video.